guys, today I have a new Magical Blind Box video for you and today's episode is exciting because one, I got a bunch of new blind boxes and blind bags. Number two, you may have seen it in a title, but today's Magical Blind Box is going to be a giveaway episode. Here are today's blind boxes, the Akuma Remence. Which one should we start with? Let's start with the Aloha one. Also, sorry if I took one of the ones you wanted and it was the last one. I apologize. Let's check this one out. Oh, it's Rirakuma in an inner tube. I actually got a really cool summer set last year. I think it had an inner tube too. I'll link the set down below because I opened it as a full set and it kind of reminds me of this. I mean, it wasn't Hawaii themed, Aloha themed, so it was different. But anyway, here is Rirakuma lounging in a really cute Rirakuma themed inner tube with some sunglasses. Please tell me these go on his face. Um, yes, that is the most adorable thing ever. Of course, Didakuma doesn't want to get sunburned. It says UV cream. What is this one? This one says body lotion, so maybe after he gets a sunburn he uses it? I don't know. But that is the Aloha set. There's the full set. I've opened quite a few of these, so this may have been the last one. I don't know, but here is the Aloha pamphlet. Dararin attaka gohan, lazy hot food. So, comfort food, I guess, is one way to put it. Again, I've opened quite a few of these. I love the toaster. I definitely have the toaster. Looks like a rice bowl of some sort. Oh yeah, it's the Tamago Kake Gohan TKG. We did a video on a TKG a long, long time ago. It's, it's very awkward to watch. I'll link it down below. It's one of our older videos. I think it was back when Mr. Panda only spoke Japanese in the videos. Rice bowl? Looks like a big dumbbody bowl. Willikuma rice? No, where's the egg? Wait, did I? Oh. Oh my goodness, it's so tiny, I almost lost it. Here is the egg. So the egg goes on the rice. Oh wow, I might actually just glue this down. I feel like I might lose it. And then... Is this the cushion that Dirakuma is always holding? I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I think it's the little cushion he always holds. Not 100% sure. Then we have furikake, and they actually sell furikake like this. It's a rice topping that kids usually use to flavor their rice, and they actually sell this. So I may have to get the real one and compare it. And then of course here is the soy sauce dispenser bottle. It's Kiroi Tori. So TKG stands for Tamago Kake Gohan. Tamago, T, is egg. Kake is like on top. And Gohan is rice, TKG. So it's eggs on rice. It's very delicious. Though, I know that in some countries you can't eat raw eggs and there are reasons why. I just don't really know something about washing the eggs. Tray. Tart, this looks like a chocolate. Chocolate banana, maybe? Looks good. I'm kind of hungry. Here is a strawberry custard tart. Oh, these are so cute! And then, I guess this is like a sponge cake with topping? I'm not sure. Either way, it looks delicious. Kurirakuma, Rirakuma tarts. Tongs that are shaped like Rirakuma. Does it get any cuter than this? Oh my goodness, this is my favorite set so far. It's called the Dome Cake and Fruit Tart Set. I have a showcase, guys. I think I need to do this. I have a showcase that I never opened. Maybe we can do like a, a cake video. I don't know. We'll figure something out. I love all the different themes. We had the Hawaii theme, the sweets theme, and then like Japanese food theme. Now we have more like actual traditional Japanese food. Dirakun was popular when I bought these. These are actually from a few years ago. Let me see. 2013, and I think I actually got these in 2013, so I've had them around for a while. Ta -da! It is Fukura Dorayaki. So Dorayaki is basically two pancakes with red bean paste in the middle. Here's a little plate. Dirakuma lying on his side. I swear I've seen this Dirakuma before. He holds something. I have, I swear I have a Dirakuma that holds dango. This one holds. 
A dorayaki! Why would he hold it like that though? Here's a little coaster and it looks like fabric, but it is definitely plastic. Here we have maybe a strawberry dorayaki and then the traditional bean paste dorayaki. And this goes on top. And this goes on top. That is adorable. Keyword of the day, adorable. Here we have a teacup, tea, and lid for the tea. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I haven't opened these sooner. These are so much fun to open. Finally, we have, what is this called? A Shiawase Food Market. So I think it's themed after a Japanese department store. Usually in the basement of fancy department stores, they have kind of a deli floor, I wanna say, and they have different foods you can take home and eat and gifts and stuff, so food market. I'm assuming that's what it is based on what's in here. Oh, we have the burger set. Oh, this one's so cute. I really want to get all of my remands out and set up like a little town or display. That would be so much fun. You know what we should do? We should do that on live stream and I can have a camera set up and you guys can help me set it up and tell me what should go where. Leave a comment down below if you think that would be fun. I think it would be hectic, but also very fun. Anyway, looks like we have takeout containers here. Here are the lids that have dirakuma on them. Of course they do. Here we have what looks like a bagel sandwich with a face. It looks kind of desserty, like it has jam on it and whipped cream. I've never had a bagel with whipped cream. Here we have, oh, they're both bagel sandwiches. This one's a savory one. And the lid. Doesn't exactly fit on, it kind of sits on top. And then we have a takeout salad container. I'm really hoping that's not the real kiroitori. He's like a mashed potato kiroitori. And oh my goodness, the lid has kiroitori on it too. Can you guys tell? Ah, I love remints. Let's see, we had the bagel takeout set. My desk is a mess here, hold on. Then we had the sweet set here, and we had the dorayaki, the Japanese sweet set. Here's another dirakuma with the, that was the TKG set. The rice, I'm definitely gonna glue this on, I'm gonna lose it. And the aloha set. Leave a comment down below which set you like the best. Hey guys, welcome to today's Magical Blind Box video. I'm gonna pick some to open myself. I finally found some Hatchimals eggs, and I know these aren't technically Japanese, but they put a Japanese label on it, so it counts. Plus, it's cute. So I'm gonna open one of these. I also wanna open this Happy Set Aikatsu bag because I didn't have enough to do a whole video on it. You can check out my Happy Meal video that I did for these, and this is like the last one. Let's open another one of these woodsies. They're so cute. How about this Marvel one? This one's been sitting in here for a while. And then one more. Oh, I guess this is a Simpson blind bag, but this isn't a Japanese one, so I think we're good. Anyway. How about the Sumiko Gurashi metal tag? Alrighty, let's open the happy set one first. I am so excited for Aikatsu Stars Wave 3 to begin at the arcades. Anime is at a really interesting point too right now. I'm excited to see Yume and Koharu's new brand. Ta -da! Like I said, I've opened a few of these Happy Meal bags before and you can check that video out if you wanna see what I got. This is the S4. Uniform. It is a pass case, so you can put your student ID in there for Aikatsu. And it has a star. It's a little clip key ring. That's actually really nice. And these Happy Meal toys are not available anymore. They're actually doing Pikachu ones right now, and if you want to see that, we actually did a McDonald's video over on our food channel, but anyway. I won't be able to complete this outfit, but it's super cute. This is my first time opening a Hatchimals blind bag, of course, and I've never had one of the big Hatchimals. In Japan, it is sponsored by Takaratomi, and it pretty much looks like they put a label over the English packaging. It's not coming off, but yeah, the warnings and stuff are just a big sticker pasted on. Interesting. Oh, it's actually bigger than I thought. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be smaller. It kind of smells like glue. Okay, so what do I do with this? I'm assuming it doesn't hatch on its own. It says to heat the heart up, the color will change. Oh, did you see that? 
it's turning a lighter color. Can I crack it open? I've never seen an opening video for these. I'm so confused. What do I, do I crack it? I am so confused. <laughs> do I heat the whole egg up? Help me. I'm just gonna, oh, okay, ah, I squished it. I don't know if that was how I was supposed to do it. Oh, it's kind of like rubber. Huh, interesting. And, oh, it's tiny. They're kind of like littlest pet shop figures. I'm gonna be totally honest and say that I thought the quality was going to be a little bit better, but they're tiny figures. This was 540 yen though, so, I mean, I feel like I paid a decent amount of money, but it's still cute. In Japan, they're called umo, like umareru, like, that's the word for like being born. So it's a play on words, umo. So here's my little umo and looks like a tiger with wings, glittery wings. I don't know, I'm not 100% into these figures. Since we're on the topic of cute animal toys, let's go ahead and open up these woodsies. I had not heard of them before, but my friend sent me a bunch. She actually sent me a few more. And uh, I seem to struggle with opening things. There we go. Ta -da! Wasn't there a dog called Spot, like a Sanrio character? I love these because they're bobbleheads. Isn't that cool? Let's see who this is. I still don't have the panda. This is Dixie, the dog, Dixie dog. So I have Dixie dog, Socks the sheep, and let's see, who did I get before that? Oh, the panda is an ultra rare, okay. Oh, I can't remember. I feel like this is the third one I've opened. Anyway, which do you think is cuter? Little woodsies or baby Hatchimal? Let us open the Avengers blind box. I got this when I went to the Marvel exhibit in Roppongi in Tokyo. I feel like I've opened one of these too. My memory is so bad. Oh, here is Falcon. Maybe not my absolute favorite character, but he's funny. I have my Sumiko Grashi and the Puri Para. The jewel and tomochike. Let's do the Sumiko Gurashi one first. I got these uh, in, like the candy aisle, the supermarket. I think they're 100 yen each. So we'll see if this is worth a dollar. Oh, it's tiny. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger, but this looks like a really cute charm. I could see this being in a gacha capsule. So for a dollar, I mean, it is a little metal tag. And it does say Sumiko Gurashi, that's pretty cool. I will say, yeah, it's worth a dollar. Also, it is penguin question mark in a Tokage costume. That is amazing. And there are 18 different ones, so I may go back and grab some more of these. What do you guys think? Should I do a Sumiko Gurashi blind bag video? Leave me a comment down below if you think I should. Here is the Puripara Jewel and Tomo Ticket blind bag camera focus. And now that I'm playing Puripara at the arcade, I'm kind of curious about the jewels. Before, I was a little uncertain what to do with them, but now I know. And this is Idle Time, so it's the newest series. If you guys aren't caught up on Puripara, I would suggest you just start from Idle Time because it's the newest one and it's so cute. Okay, here is, oh, it comes with a ticket too, that's right. Here's the gem. It is Deona and there's a barcode on the back, I can't show it to you guys but there he is it's a level 20 age age item and i think this boosts your likes or something when you use it with the game you can also put this in the idle time mic and it has like a voice recorded or something i don't know if there's a chip embedded in this or what but and i get dalna's friend ticket so i can use this with the arcade game so today's opening was fun Got a lot of cute stuff. Sorry about that glare. Penguin question mark. If you're not familiar with Sumiko Gurashi, the character's backstories are so cute. You need to Google it and see why this guy is called Penguin question mark. And then here is Falcon. Oops. What else did I get? Oh yeah, my little Hatchimals and my Aikatsu case. Hey guys, today I have a new magical blind box video for you and I already went ahead and picked out the blind boxes. I am going to open these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you follow me on Twitter, you may know that I found these on sale. They were 100 yen each, super cheap. And these were little cheapy ones too. So I thought we could open a bunch today. Let's go ahead and start with the Love Live blind bags. These are Bromaido Collection 2. So they're basically photos and I've opened some of these before. I don't remember if it was series one or two, but 
I do remember that they were very, very cute. So let's take a peek and see who we get. The new season of Love Live Sunshine is going to be out soon. Oh, it's Kanan. Can you guys see? And it's scribbled all over like a real photo. I think that's really cool. Gives it more personality. And then on the back, it's like a photo. It has Love Live Sunshine written on it, but that's really cool. And then, of course, it comes with a piece of gum because they need to put that in there to sell it in the snack aisle, or so I've heard. So I grabbed quite a few of these, and today we're gonna open two of them. I'll have more in future videos. Let me know if you like Love Live Sunshine, and I'll try to find more stuff. It says there are 31 designs total, and nine of them have signatures and are like gold. So this one is not, but some of them are fancy apparently. It says Yoshi Ko. Kind of like yo solo. I don't know. Maybe not. And then it says yo and Yoshiko. These are so cute. I need to find the ones that I opened before. These would be really cute to put up on the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and open the happy places next. These were sent to me by a very, very special friend and I appreciate it so much. Let's open it up. And there's a purple tile. What room is the purple tile? I always forget. Here they are. Let's see. Check them out. Da -dum. Ooh, oh, it's a kettle. And it's a little kitty cat. These are so cute. I love cute things with faces and cute things with animal faces. It makes it 10 times better. Next item, oh, it's a teacup. These are so cute. This would look really good in a Sylvanian family house. And I'm gonna open the last one up here. Here we go. Feels very, very tiny. Ooh, what is that? Oh, is that a tea bag? That's so cute. So it can sit on the edge of the cup here. And then you could have hot water, pour it over the tea. Oh, that is so cute. I love this set, and I've never seen this before, so it's definitely not a double. I have two blind boxes here from the Disney store. This is an older one. It's the Ufufi blind box, and so far, I've gotten three Donalds, and I don't know if I've actually gotten any others yet, so let's check this out and see. Have you guys seen the Ufufi plushes? They're like the new Tsum Tsums, kind of but I think Tsum Tsums are still more popular, but they're really soft and cute and they smell really nice. Let's open this up. Cross your fingers, guys, please. Actually, don't be Donald. Actually, a daisy would be nice. I could have a pear. Ja -ja. Oh, it's Marie. That's okay, I like Marie. She's a little chubby chub chub here. And the plushes look exactly like this, except they're a lot bigger. And then it comes with a really nice strap. You know what? If I were to take this strap off, ah, she would look really good lined up here with the Shopkins because they're cats. So here is the last one and it is the My Disney Store series secret strap. And we opened one of these on the live stream and found that they were little metal charms. And I got, oops, I keep dropping it. I got Dumbo last time. I got that one. I don't know if you can see. But I really want Ariel, Rapunzel, or... Oh, I thought there was a Tinkerbell. I guess not. As long as it's not a double. And yeah, it was 500 yen plus tax. It's pretty tiny, but it's really good quality. So you'll see in a second. I think it's worth $5. Also, blind bags, fun to open. It's not coming out. There we go. Are you guys ready? Ta-da! What is that? Oh, it's Aristocats. I guess that's today's theme. It's a pair. I mean, they kind of go together. I could put them on my bag together like that. Why do I keep dropping it? So those are the two Disney ones I got today. And then my Shopkins, of course. A cat theme going on here. And then my two love live cards. You guys have been asking to see lots of idle stuff and I hear you, I'm going to try to find some more love live stuff. And I know that there's some really cute Pretty Pada blind boxes out right now. I'm gonna try to find them, we'll see. You know what, I'm not done. I thought that was going really quickly. I have these two blind bags. 
so you'll have to bear with me for a few more minutes. This is a Pokemon Sun and Moon Mitty, Mini, Mitty, Mini Metal. I think it's just a little tag, like a little charm. Jajang! Oh, it's Iwanko Rock Ruff. Just a cute little tag. I think I got this for like a hundred yen. It's a metal tag, so it's actually a really nice quality. It has Pokemon on the back there. And then we have the Finding Dory stickers, and I think I got these, you know, back when the movie came out, and they've been sitting in my blind box box, so I'm gonna start clearing that out. Can you guys believe it's already September? Maybe at the end of the year this year, I'll do like a massive blind box video because we did the gotchas last year. That was fun. So here are the stickers and they look like they're scenes from the movie. Yep, Zori. And they kind of have like a bubbly glitter. Can you guys see? That's pretty cool. And this one's a circle. That one would be good to cut out and use on something. I like using these stickers to make phone cases because, well not these because they're a little harder to use, but the ones that can be cut out. Oh, there's more. I thought this was the last one. We have Nemo and Marlin. Wait, is that a double? No, it's just very similar. So those are the Finding Dory stickers I got. They're all pretty cute. I need a scrapbook or something to put these in. So this is the actual end this time. You saw my stickers, my tag, and all my goodies. Let me know which was your favorite from today. Mine, you know what? It's probably this little Marie strap. I really like the Ufufi charms. Hey guys, it's been a while, but I am back with a new Magical Blind Box video. Today, I'm gonna be checking out the Pick Me Pops, which I received from Moose Toys. They sent me one of these. I'm so excited, so we're gonna open that for sure. And then, I think I wanna check out this Virakuma Blind Box. I showed it to you guys in my last haul, and I have two of these in here, so I'm gonna take one today. Oh, let's do one of these My Mini Mixie Cues. I think I received this from a friend. I've never opened these before, I don't think. So, let's do that. And I have a pretty para blind bag in here that I've been dying to open, so we'll do that. And how about this Love Live one? These are super cute. Oh, and I have some Happy Meal toys that I've been meaning to open with you guys. So, I have two of these. We'll do that, and that'll be today's video. Here are today's goodies. Um, let's check out the Happy Meal toys first because I have no clue what is inside. I don't know how well you can see the packaging here, but McDonald's is doing a collaboration with Sanrio, and they have some really, really cute toys. Here is the first one. Oh, it's a, uh, oh, this was the one that I was curious about, I think. You don't see much Batsumaru merch around lately. Um, So, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a sugar bowl, like Hello Kitty's sitting on a pile of sugar, maybe? So yeah, it's a little plastic cup. It has a little spout here, so this might be good for when I make DIY candies when I need to measure water and stuff. That'd be cute. There's a sheet in here to explain what it is. Let's see. It says this is sugar cream. It's a Happy Meal toy, so it's not gonna be super practical, but it's gonna be cute. Oh my goodness, it is a pom pom pudding cupcake. Does this open? Oh no, oh my goodness, look at that. And I think, oh yep, it goes up and down when you roll it. I don't know if you guys can tell from that angle, but it, you get the idea. So again, not practical, but super cute. Look at the different ones they have. So I got the pom pom pudding and Batsumaru one. I want my Melody, I want Tuxedo Sam. Oh my goodness, I want them all. So those are the first two that I got. Let's go ahead and check out the Pick Me Pop. Pick Me Pops? And I had never heard of these before, but like I said, they are made by Moose Toys, the same people that make Shopkins and a lot of the fun toys that you guys and I love. And I was super, super excited when they reached out to me and asked if I'd like to check out their new Pick Me Pop. Of course I said yes. As you can see, it's a little lollipop shaped blind box capsule. Let's see if this is just open. There we go. Ooh, looks like, ooh, there are a lot of them in here. Here is, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's a stand for the lollipop. Oh, so then you can store your little pick -me's in here, I think. They smell like vanilla. Oh, they're tiny. Okay, let's check these out. Oh, there are tiny ones in here? 
Oh, they have beans in them. Oh, they're so cute. They smell super sweet. It looks like a little bird, don't you think? Like a little owl, maybe? Let's open this one and, oh, it's adorable. What do you think? Is this one a mouse? I'm gonna say a mouse. They're adorable. Oh my goodness, I did not think they would be this bright and colorful. Let's check out these baggies and see what's in them. Oh, wow, they come with accessories. So this is a little strap and, oh my goodness, all the little characters. This is so cute. And then this one has like a little figure or something inside, I think. Oh, I think it's this one that I got, right? Oh, these are cute. They do remind me of Shopkins, the faces. Kind of like Petkins. And then there's one more bag here. I'm wondering if this is maybe a checklist. Oh, there's a little letter. Wubs the bat. Oh, this is a bat. Wubs the bat and oh, is this a little letter? Oh, let's hang out together. Oh, it's caramel scent. Okay, no, now that I now that I say that it does smell like caramel. How about this one? This is Numble the bear. Oh, you're a bear, not a mouse. Okay, let's see what this says. I can't bear being without you. <laughs> That's cute. And this one's caramel too. I'm assuming they're talking about the scent. And yes, there is a checklist. There's a hedgehog. Well, he's ultra rare though. Who did I get? I mean, like what rarity? Numble and wubs are common. So the surprise pack pick me pops come with two sweet scented plushes and three surprises. You know, this is super fun because you get the plushes that you want to collect and then you get like little extras. It's amazing. Oh wow, there are a bunch of these guys. You see, they're so colorful and cute. Continuing on, let's check out the My Mini Mixy Cues. They're little figures, from what I can tell. It says pop and swap outfits and hair. Two mystery figures inside. Okay, and they're by Mattel. Ooh. Oh, these are fun. Okay, so there is the little base. Is that a sugar skull? Here is the hair that goes on this one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's adorable. And then this one is, you know what? This one looks like a unicorn. Oh, is this the one that's on the box? Is it that one? I think it is. Oh, these are adorable. I'd never heard of these before. Now, I kinda wanna collect them all. This is bad. Next, let's open the Didakuma figure. So this is gonna be a strap and I'm hoping it's gonna be super adorable. This is from the new bread series and I didn't even know they had a bread series out. I guess I kind of knew, but I haven't really looked into it. Oh, that's not blind at all, you open it up. It is kiroi tori in a slice loaf of bread. There's a bite taken out of the top, it's all textured. It looks like there's some honey on here. This is adorable. It's a little bit smaller than I expected, but as a keychain, you know, this is a perfect size. Did I even show you guys the lineup? So there are the three characters in bread. And then here they are, well, the two of them. And sandwiches, it looks like. It's super cute. This is so much fun. Okay, let's check out the Puripada Jewel and Tomo Ticket Volume 2. Now, I don't really keep up with these. I just open the, the Puri Ticket blind bags because these cost a little bit more and to buy them by a full box is actually kind of expensive. But anyway, <laughs> I grabbed a few of these when I was at the store and comes with a jewel and a tumble ticket. The ticket is Garuru and this cord is one that I got in the gummy blind bag. So I will be able to make a unit. Well, I kind of need one more person for it to all match, but you guys know what I mean. And this Garuru is very, very pretty. She looks cute. And there's an ad on the back. And then the jewel. There are nine total and one secret one. It is Garuru and Mikan. They're super cute. Now there's a barcode on the back here and you use it to scan in the game. You can also use it with the idle time watch toy, I believe. And I don't know if you can use it with the microphone. I would assume you can. And they make different sounds and stuff. So this is a pretty high tech jewel. I don't know if the secret jewel is a kami jewel, a gold jewel or not, but 
I got an SR, that's super lucky. It's level 40, that's pretty amazing. One more thing to open, I think that's it. When I open stuff, I get trash and figures all over the place. I sometimes miss the blind bags, but I think this is the last one. Oh, there's the gum. <laughs> I got Rico-chan. It looks like she's trying to cram something into her locker. At the train station, wasn't it? I can't remember, but are you guys excited for season two? It's gonna start in a few weeks, I wanna say. I'm super excited. I'm gonna probably watch it, even though I like to binge anime after a season, but this one I may try to keep up with. Let me know what your favorite thing was from everything I got today. Got some jewels, some straps, some of these guys. Hey guys, it's been a while since I have filmed one of these. I am super excited. Let's see. So first of all, I want to say that I received a bunch, there are a bunch in here, of surprisables from the Beverly Hills Teddy Bear Company. And I've never opened these before. I believe they are a US-based company, so probably can't find them here in Japan, but they sent me a bunch of their little capsule blind boxes. And let's see, I think I'll open two today. So I wanna say a big thank you to them, of course. And what else do we have in here? Oh, we have a Lego minifigure. There's a lot of old ones in here because I think I need to empty this box out. Let's check out the Num Nom. Oh, how about this one? It is a Kanahe Squishy. I know you guys like squishies and I love Kanahe. I love Pisuke and Usagi, so let's check this out. And, oh, you may notice that I tossed some of my gachas in here. This is from the Toy Capsule Lab box. I thought might as well just do them all together. So let's grab this one. And how about this Guretama Matsuri one? This is an old one. I think I got it on sale. Alrighty then, here are the items we are going to open today. Let's start with one of the surprise malls. I'm pretty sure this is the lineup. I did hear that they are coming out with a Care Bears series the end of the year, I think. That sounds super exciting to me. So here is the first one. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. Look at the eyes. Is this a poodle? Oh, there's the name. Rhea? Rhea? Poodle. So it is a poodle. The purple poodle. So soft. So that's the first one. Oh my goodness. Now I kind of want to open them all at once. Cha -cha. Ooh, what is this? Oh, these are so cute. Here's the tag, it's Jeanette. I really appreciate that they're super, super soft. And I like that they're tiny because you can just kind of pop them into your bag. And you guys know, I love miniatures. So these are kind of perfect. I bet this is the lineup, so let's take a look. Oh wow, there are a bunch. Looks like the two I got are rare. It says the blue hearts are common, these are rare. And it looks like they have more than one series. I'm gonna keep this checklist and we'll open some more next time. Next, let's check out this Kanahe Squishy. I'm pretty excited to check this out. Here is the lineup. There's a dango, a roll cake, a macaron, donut, ice cream cone. Is that a mochi, a daifuku? I think so. So, these are made by Remit, or it's a collaboration with Remit. So, I think they're gonna be pretty good quality. There it is. Oh, I think it's the ice cream. Yes! It's Pisuke and Usagi as a scoop of ice cream. It's the perfect size. Let's give it a squish. Oh, it's pretty dense. I approve, mainly because it's super cute. I think I got another one of these. So give this video a thumbs up if you want me to open this next time. I hope I get the macaron. That one's really, really cute. Next, let's check out this gacha. Now, the Toy Capsule Lab box has been sitting there for a while as well. Last year, I did empty it out once, but some of these capsules are pretty old. I think it's something Toy Story. Oh, it's a little green alien. And it is from the Sleeping series. This is so cute. I will show you guys the lineup in case you have forgotten. A bunch of Toy Story characters and they're all sleeping. Here is the alien with a little planet blanket. Is that not adorable? Let's check out the Gudetama Rima next. This is from the Matsuri or Festival series and they are different festival foods for the most part. There's a little shrine, I think. For the most part, they are foods. Oh, and little toys too, there's a lantern. So, let's see. I have opened a few of these before, but I don't think I have this. It is a imakawa yaki. On the box here it says Japanese custard muffin. I don't know if I call it a muffin. I would almost say pancake filled with custard. And of course, gudetama is the egg part, I'm sure. Well, I guess there's egg in the batter too. Maybe that's why there's two faces. I don't know. We have two more to open. Let's check out the num nom. This is from series 3.1. 
and there's a little baggie and a side. I have not been keeping up with Num Noms. What is the latest series, guys? Do they have any cute seasonal ones? Oh, this is one of the fruits or vegetable. I think I have this one actually. It's an eggplant, isn't it? Here is the nom, nom, nom. Again, I always get confused. The lineup is so cute. It's Emma Eggplant. I'm 99% sure I got this one in a past video or maybe in a package from someone. I can't remember exactly. Pretty sure it's a double, but what do you guys think? Do you guys like eggplants? I didn't really like eggplants when I was younger, but now I love eggplants. Anyway, we're getting off topic. Here is the last one. It is the Lego minifigure and Again, this is a super old one as well. I think I need to cut this. Let's see who we get. Can you guys tell? I actually can't tell from this angle. Let's dump it out. Oh, it's Mr. Incredible, I think. Da -da! I definitely don't have this one, so yay. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to put this piece. I guess I can just lean up against it. Here, hold on to that, Mr. Incredible. That was all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is a lot of fun. I miss making these videos. I will try to make them more often. I have been focusing on my DIY content over on Lorian's craft box. This is Lorian's toy box, so if you like making DIY stuff, I would appreciate it so much if you check out that channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below so I know if I should make more or not. And let me know which toy was your favorite today. Mine is probably the Kanahe Usagi Squishy. Though the sleeping figures always are a big favorite. Let me know in the comments down below which was yours and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, this is the first Magical Blue Wine Box video of 2018. I think this is your first look. Maybe I gave you a sneak during 24 days, but this is the new Magical Blind Box and I've been stocking up. I had some things left over from last year that never got put into the old Magical Blind Box, but there are some new items that I want to check out today. This is the secret strap, the new secret strap from the Disney store. It is a wagashi themed, Japanese sweets themed, and I'm gonna open one of these because I haven't opened any of them yet. I'm super curious. I'm gonna open one of these Animators Collection Littles. I found these at the Disney store yesterday. I did not know about them and I stumbled across them and I grabbed three. I opened one yesterday on my Instagram story, so if you wanna see that, I don't know if it's still up, but I got Elsa's bed. I'll, I will tell you that. But you should follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with my stories. And how about we go with the Disney theme today? I received these last year from my friend. I totally forgot about them. They were stuck in a package somewhere, but they're now in the magical blind box. I'm gonna open one of these. That's three. Why don't we open five today? How about one of these gotchas? And I don't know guys, what do you think? Should we stick with the Disney theme? Can I find something else Disney? How about this camera? Blind box. Here are today's blind boxes. The gotcha is not Disney, so let's open that first. I see a little hamster face there. I think this is a hamster in a bowl series. Different hamsters in different Japanese style bowls or pots. Very adorable. Let's see what one I have here. Here is the bowl. It's a little red bowl. And then here is the hamster. Do any of you have hamsters? I took care of my ha friend's hamster for a summer once and I didn't hate it. The hamster was adorable. I didn't enjoy cleaning a cage every week and the hamster running at night, but I also was like 15 or 16 at the time. So I feel like I can manage it better and you know, have the brains to move the hamster into a different room at night, you know, stuff like that. But anyway, let me know if any of you guys have hamsters or small pets. I kind of want a turtle. I really don't know why, but I, I don't know. I just kind of like, the thought of a turtle, but I also know that turtles bite, so I don't know. Anyway, there is the first gacha that is adorable. Let's get on with our Disney theme. I'm gonna open the delectables first because this is my first time opening it. I saw these when they first came out and I thought they looked awesome. They're kind of like remints, but Disney themed, so. This is collection one. I think there are more waves out now and there's like non-blind bag ones, but I don't know too much about that. Anyway, let's open this one. Let's see if we can guess who it is from the color. It's pink. Is that mini? I think it is. I actually thought these would be a bit smaller. It is bigger than I expected, and I know you can take these apart so you can mix and match. Like that cone is pink. I know some come with dishes. I think the ears come off of the ice cream. So this is going to be a lot of fun to play with once I open a few more. 
So there is the first one. I can't wait to open more of these. There's a Tinkerbell, Cheshire Cat, Aurora, Mickey, Tigger. This is going to be a lot of fun. So, put this one down. Let's open the Animators Collection next. I got three of these, and I'm hoping that it's not going to be Elsa's bed. The cast member at the Disney store told me that there's going to be a new wave each month, and... I'm really excited, and they're only $5 each, so I can definitely see myself trying to collect them all, but we shall see. I know that Ariel is in wave two for next month, so I would like to get that. I know that Stitch is in wave one, kind of aiming for that. I haven't seen a Donald figure yet because they're, you know, animators, so it's gonna be princesses and their companions for the most part, I believe. And the cast member was telling me that the figures are kind of the same as the play sets, but the ones in the blind boxes are sparkly or colored differently, so you'll get a variant, even if you own the playset. So, that was cool. I don't own any of the playsets, but good to know. <laughs> anyway, let's open this up. Oh, I don't think it's a bed. You can kind of, you can see the characters are here. I'm going to assume it's Lilo. Nope, it's Stitch. It is from the Lilo and Stitch series. He is super sparkly, look at that. He does have a little glitter under his nose there. It kind of looks like a booger. I may have to try to scrape that off. But for the most part, it is pretty good quality. My friends were saying that they weren't going to collect them because they didn't like the paint jobs and, you know, reasons like that. But for $5, I don't hate this. I probably will collect them. I don't think I'm going to go crazy trying to collect full sets, but I think these are really fun to open and better quality than some blind bags that I've opened, so I'm happy with this. Except for this little glitter booger there. Also, you guys probably know this if you're from the States because I know that these are out here. These cases connect so you can use them as display cases, like I can put Stitch in there and then these little connectors, you know, you can connect the pencils and make a little display. Next year's, next year? Next month's pencil is gonna be pink, so the cast member is saying you can mix and match the colors and make a cute display. Here's a photo of the containers all connected, and then here are the different play sets that are out, I'm assuming. And then here is the lineup for wave one. I want Rapunzel and Pink Pascal. I mean, all of the characters would be fun to get. I want Ariel for sure. Cinderella, not really into Baby Hercules. Boo, Mike, Jasmine. But anyway, let's get back to opening. Let's open the secret strap from the Disney store. Here is the lineup. The dango's super cute. That's Rolly, Mike, Lotso. Oh, there's more on this side. There's a Donald, he's a mochi butt. Oh, Baymax. Okay, all of these are pretty cute. Let's let's just do this. Doo -doo. Ooh, this is bulky. Let's see who it is. Oh, oh, it's Baymax! Baymax Mochi. I love this. It's so cute. I may actually put this on my bag. It's simple enough that I think it would go with the bag that I use. Anyway, I have a few more of these to open, so you'll be seeing them over the next few weeks. Let's put that down and open the last one. You guys probably have seen this in my Magical Blind Box videos. Mr. Panda thought $5 was way too expensive for a small charm like this. I would agree, but the reason I got more of these is because it was on sale for 50% off, so I only paid 250 yen. I actually got Donald, so I kind of want Stitch. Let's open this up. Pull this. Oh no, it's the Pooh Bear Curse! Back with a vengeance in 2018. I was telling you guys, whenever there's a Pooh Bear option, I always seem to get Pooh Bear. If it weren't a double, I wouldn't be so upset, but... Double Pooh Bear. So today I have Pooh Bear, Stitch, I'm really happy with this Stitch. My Minnie Mouse ice cream, I love, love, love this. Baymax Mochi, the best thing ever. My little hamster. So I would say the first Magical Blind Box video of 2018 is a success. Pooh's a little unfortunate, but other than that, I love everything that I got. Hey guys, it's been a while, but I am back with a new Magical Blind Box video today. I'm going to open up some of these Koo Nuts, and I believe they're new. I found them at my supermarket. They had two types. They have the Disney Friends and Pixar. So I thought we could open one each of those. These were 200 yen each, so I have no clue what they are, but I'm excited to check it out. And then, let's open some of these Putty Putta gummies. This is volume 16, and I think I grabbed, you know, a handful of these when I was at the supermarket as well. 
And I don't know if you guys know, but Pretty Pada is ending. They're coming in with a new anime in April. Same for the Aikatsu series. So let's open these up before before they're irrelevant. That's kind of sad. Anyway, I saw a request for the Snoopy one, and this is actually a bath bomb. I threw a few in here because they were left over from, you know, when I used to make bath bomb videos. So I won't do one today, but I will do one in a future video for sure. Today, I don't have, you know, hot water prepared and all that stuff. So that'll be next time. But let's open another one of these Disney Store secret straps. Oh, how about this Num Num? I received this from my friend Rachel in Canada and you know, we can't get Num Nums here. So this is always a treat to open. And I think that's what we'll do today. Here are the one, two, three, four, five, six blind bags and boxes we'll be opening today. And you know what? I wanna start with the Disney and Friends one just because I don't know what this is. It says on the packaging that it's shaped like a nut, like a peanut maybe, and they're called Koo Nuts. So I really don't know if these are just little figures or what, but I do see a Donald duck on there. So cross your fingers for Donald. I actually don't even know how big these are. Oh, it comes with a little bit of candy, of course. And there are 16 characters and one special one. I wonder who the special is. The first one I got is Donald! What? This is gonna be a lucky year, guys. So here it is, it's bottom heavy. It said it spins, so I'm assuming, whoa. I don't know if it's supposed to spin like that. I don't wanna scratch it. I think it's a top, maybe? I don't know if that's right. Oh, it looks like the Mickey with the heart eyes is the special one. Maybe we'll get that later on. It says it turns and rocks and stands up again. So it's... I got Donald on my first try. I am so excited. I actually wouldn't mind a whole army of Donalds. So there is the first one. Next, let's check out the Pudi Pada gummies. I think I grabbed five of these. So I don't know if they're in order or what, but I have not opened this series. You guys were requesting some more Pretty Pada videos. Anyway, it looks like there is an SR cord, two secret ones, which are the exclusive ones. And they're usually recolors. And then Winter Night cord and Love Punk Happiness cord. And then the SR cord is Three Star Patisserie Whip cord. Of course, it comes with gummies. These are strawberry flavored. And here is the card. Let me cover that barcode. Oh, it's Nino in a dress. She looks really cute. I feel like I've never seen Nino in a dress. This is the Love Punk Happiness Hair Bow. You can see the full cord here. Oh, it's very cute. It seems very appropriate for spring. I think this set came out a while ago though, so I'm not sure if it's meant for like Valentine's or spring or what. Either way, this is a very, very cute cord. Let's open the second one. Maybe we'll get a matching item or a totally different cord. These gummies smell so good. I wish you guys could smell them. Here is the second card. Ja -jung. Oh, it's Hibiki. And this is the winter night top. So it's for winter, I guess. This is a nice cord. I don't know how appropriate it is for winter though. Look at Hibiki's bare arms. She's She needs a coat. Anyway, those are the two that I got today. I'll be opening a few more, maybe in the next video. And if you guys know anything about the new anime that's coming out, let me know in the comments down below. Let's move on to this Num Num. This is series 4.1. It smells so delicious. I don't know what the series name is called, but it's in this cute packaging. And I would like something pastel and cute. Oh, it's in a baggie. Num Noms. There are so many different Num Noms out now. I can't keep up with them at all, but I know that I love them. And I really hope they come to Japan. I feel that Num Noms are something, you know, Japanese kids, adults would love. They're so cute. Ja -ja oh, it's an ice cream sundae. And it's mint chocolate, my favorite. Oh, and there's a chocolate dollop on top. Let's pull this Num, oops, off the Nom. Oh, is this one of the nail polish Noms? And I can't get this open. So anyway, I think this is the nail polish. I think it even says on here. Yeah, it says one lip gloss nom or nail polish nom. So this is nail polish. It even smells minty, guys. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, this one's my favorite one, I think. And I have quite a few of them. I really like this one. Thank you, Rachel. Oh, there are so many. I can't keep up with them. I really like the savory series they had. I don't even know what series that was, but like the sushi ones. I don't think I have any of them, but 
I saw them in the lineup and they were really cute. Two more to go. Let's save this for the end. And let's open the Disney store one. This is a Wagashi Japanese sweet series. And last time we got Baymax, a Baymax mochi. It was really cute. I would like the Donald butt, but as long as it's not a double butt butt, I'm gonna be happy. Ta -da! Ja -ja. Oh, not a Donald butt. It is a Dalmatian. Is it maybe a Daifuku? Does it say on here what it is? It is a Mame Daifuku, a bean Daifuku. So usually there are black beans in the mochi skin on the outside, and then I think it's usually bean paste on the inside, but either way, it is mochi. And the texture's really cool. I think the Baymax one was shiny, but this one's kind of matte. So we have two sweets here today. And finally, we have our Pixar Kunuts. Pixar seems to be the trend right now in Japan. Tokyo Disney Sea is doing a Pixar themed event and I actually tried some of the food and I wrote a blog post about it if you guys wanna check it out. I'll leave the link down below. Shameless self promotion. And, oh wait, before we pull this out, I actually kinda saw the color. Which one do we want? You know, I'm not really into like the human ones. I, for even Tsum Tsums and stuff, I like the animals and characters better, so. I think this is Lotso. I saw the pink. And I love Lotso. I know he's the bad guy, but he's not. He he just he just needed some love. Anyway, here are my two Kunuts. I don't know where they got that name from. Like the nuts, I get that they're shaped like peanuts, but like the ku? Cool? I don't know. I really don't know. If you guys have any idea why they named them this, let me know. And I have two more to open, but please leave a comment down below if you think I should pick up a few more because for two dollars, these were, you know, kind of cute. So today I got Donald and Lotso, two characters I really like. And then I got a Dalmatian Mame Daifuku. I keep wanting to call him Lucky, but I actually don't know if it is. A mint chocolate Num Num, and mint chocolate's one of my favorite ice cream flavors, so that's another Lucky item. Maybe that's why I want to call him Lucky. And two Putty Putta cards. I haven't opened Putty Putta cards in a while. These were a lot of fun to open. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to help me out, I have a link to my Kofi coffee down below. I, I say Kofi because in Japanese we say Kohi. But if you want to help me get a few blind boxes, you can support me that way. Or you can just give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment and tell me what you enjoyed about it. And that means just as much to me too. Hey guys, and welcome back to Magical Blind Box. Today, I have a lot of new blind boxes in here. I went to Yodobashi Camera, which is a big kind of electronic toy kind of hobby shop. It is an everything shop kind of, but I got a bunch of new blind boxes. And I want to thank you guys for supporting me on Kofi or Coffee. I say Kofi because I guess that's how we would read it phonetically in Japanese, but I, I guess it's coffee. But I want to thank you guys for supporting me through coffee. Your tips slash donations help me make better videos, and it really means a lot to me. So thank you very, very much. If you guys want to help me out, the link is right here, and it's in the description box if you just want to click on it. And of course, you don't need to. I appreciate your comments, your thumbs up. So I just want to say that I appreciate you guys so much, and... Let's get into today's video. So, this is new of course, it's a remit and it says it's puni puni. So I don't know if it's rubbery or if it's kind of like a monimo, which is, you know, like a softer silicone or rubber. But, I don't know, what should we open today? We opened a lot of kunuts last time and you guys seem to enjoy those. I still need to pick up a few more. I have a princess tsum tsum, some happy places that I received from my friend Lost and Found Charms. Some gummy Pokemon card blind bags. I thought this was interesting. I'd never seen these before, so I grabbed that. I have some Disney secret straps. I think these were for New Year's maybe, I'm not sure, but they were, I think they were half off of 278 yen, so grab those. Have a Pokemon strap. And you know what else I got? I have some Yuri on ice because I get a lot of requests for that. I think this was half off too. They had a nice sales bin, the other bush camera, so that was nice. Still have some more pretty tickets. Kingdom Hearts. I think I'm gonna open this one. Oh, how about one of these Disney delectables? I received this from my friend as well. And here's some random masking tape. I don't know how that got in there. How about this Sumiko Grashi profile card? One of these Pokemon charms. I think there are two of these in here, so let's do one. Let's grab a gacha and we'll call it a day. Here are the ones that I'm gonna be opening. Let's start hmm, with the Delectables. 
Last time I opened one of these, I got Minnie, and let's see, there's the lineup back here. Minnie, Snow White, Cinderella, Dumbo, Mickey, Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell, Winnie the Pooh, Aurora, Cheshire Cat, and Eeyore. I kind of want to see what Dumbo looks like. Let's open this up and take a peek. That's not Pooh Bear, is it? The Pooh Curse. I don't think it is. I see an apple on top. I feel like this is Snow White, maybe? What do you guys think? Do you think those colors and the apple on top makes it Snow White? Oh, it actually says down here, it's Snow White. Let's see. The apple comes off, it's the topping. And then I'm assuming the whipped cream comes off. I don't wanna break this though. I know the ice cream scoop comes off. I don't know if the whipped cream comes off. I'm not gonna break it. But these are cool because you can mix and match them between the different characters. Next, let's check out the Sumiko Gurashi profile card. I got this at the dollar store and there are three cards in here, so that's a good deal. There is the first card, and then on the back here, it has a little profile for the different characters. This is Tapioca. And this one is super wintry. They're in a kotatsu, which is a heated table with a blanket over it. And then this is a little message card. And this one, oh, it's very summery. It's the marine theme. Then we have Nisetsumuri. I didn't know this guy. He's not a snail. It says he is a slug, he or she, is a slug with a shell. I mean, I know what snails are, right? I know they're different, but that's funny. I did not know the background story for this character. That's amazing. The Sumiko Gurashi characters have such awesome background stories. And now looking at this picture, I have never seen that. Is that a mouse? Or is it like a dust ball mouse? Even the little Mikan, the Mandarin orange has a face. I think I'll save these and send them to you guys who send me PO Box mail because these are cute little message cards. Next, shall we take a look at this gacha? I actually think this is Halloween themed. This was a set that I bought, but then kind of forgot to open. So I put it in the magical blind box and it is Pikachu in a jack-o'-lantern. It's Pikachu with a witch's hat and cape, magician, witch, and a little wand and Pikachu sitting in a pumpkin. This is so cute. I'll need to remember to pull this out during Halloween and take cute photos. We have two more to go. Since I just opened the Pikachu one, let's open the Kingdom Hearts one. Here's the lineup. Of course I want Donald because he's my absolute favorite. Gotta love that duck butt. Oh, I kind of like the Heartless too. As I open this, I want to say a thank you to Rachel again because she knows exactly what I like. She sent me my favorite blind boxes and she's amazing. Let's see. Oh, I see red hair. You guys know what that means, right? It's Axel! That's actually a pretty nice figure. I love his hair. And I love that they're already in a case ready to display because I'm horrible at setting up figures, so this is perfect for me. Finally, we have our Pokemon blind box. And this is a rubber mascot. And I really want the little Eevee. It's so cute, and Lapras is cool too. Actually, if these are the five designs in here, any of them would be awesome. Oh, there are more down the side here. There are actually a bunch. And there's a mystery one. Cross your fingers, guys. And, da -da 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 -da. can you guys tell what it is from the shape? I can't, I didn't look at it that closely. Da -da. Oh, it's Eevee! This is so cute! Amaeru, that is adorable! And I have one more to open. Hopefully I'll get Lapras. Actually, there's a Quaking. Um, ah, what's the English name? Ah, I can't remember, but my friend loves Quaking. So if I get that, I'll have to give it to her, but. Eevee, I think I'm keeping. I could even make this into a magnet. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, we had some pretty good results today, I would say. We had Snow White, we had Eevee, and a cute Pikachu, even though it's not Halloween. And then we have my new Kingdom Hearts figure, Axel, and some Sumiko Gurashi cards. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and leave me a comment down below and tell me which was your favorite from today. Hey guys, welcome back, or welcome if you are new. This is one of my favorite types of video to make. It's the Magical Blind Box, where I open random blind bags and blind boxes, mainly from Japan, but there are some gifts in here that I receive from friends and viewers. I also want to thank you guys for supporting me on Coffee or Kofi. I don't know, I just like calling it Kofi, guys. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for supporting me there. Every little bit helps, and it helps me make better videos, more frequent videos, and I appreciate it so much. I also appreciate all of the super lovely comments and likes that you give me. So if you like blind box videos, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. Anyway, let's get into today's 
blind boxes. I think I want to open this Simpson blind bag that I received from Lost and Found Charms. She knows exactly what I like. Let's do two of these Puripada blind bags because we are approaching the end of Puripada and the start of Purichan, right? That's what it's called. Let's save this Yudi on ice. I know there's a smaller one. This one, I think this one was 100 yen. It was super cheap, it was on sale. And I think this is a badge, so we'll see who we get. I really only want Victor or Yudiel or Makaching. How about we do another Kunats? These are so cute. And that's five, but we have two Puripada ones. So why don't we open a gacha? Here are the items we will be opening today. I'm a bit hyper today, guys. I had a little bit of caffeine this morning and I think that's kicking in. Anyway, let's start with the Tsum blind bag. Here is the lineup. Let me take a peek. I got Nick Wilde last time, so. As long as it's not a double, you know? I don't have any of these yet. Let's cut this open. Oh, Beauty and the Beast are a set, a pair. That's cool. And looks like I have Jafar. I'm a huge fan of the villains. There is a show at Tokyo Disney Sea here, and it's for Halloween, and it focuses on the villains. It's a really good show. The music's awesome. Let's see if I can put this together. Here is the base, and Here's Jafar. He's looking pretty evil. So that is my first one. We'll put that there. And let's move on to the Pretty Pada blind bags. Last time I opened two of these and of course I didn't complete any outfits because I only opened two, but maybe today we'll get something that matches. I can smell the gummy. I'm so hungry right now. Here we have Yui with an accessory card. It's a little macaron. That's so cute. There she is, this whole cord is adorable. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Did Idle Time only run for a year or is this its second year? I guess it's the second year? I can't remember. Anyway, I'm excited for the new anime. I think the game system's gonna be cool too. Oh, it looks like we have something that matches. It is Lala and the top. Last time I got the Winter Night top. So it was one with Hibiki and or maybe it wasn't the top, it was with Nino, I think. Anyway, now I have two SR cards. I just need the shoes and the skirt. Now, when I went back to the supermarket, they were sold out of this series, so we'll see if I can find it somewhere else. Let's open this gacha. I wonder what series this is from. Yoisho! Oh, it's a sweet bunny. Actually, this is the Spoon Bunny series. There is a sweet series too where they have like cakes and stuff it looks like most of these are straps they're really cute this one is a strap the little bunny's hanging off the spoon that's so cute and look at the spoon there's a pretty design on it this is a cute strap i would put this on my bag hang on there little bunny next we have a yudi blind bag this may be my first time opening something yudi related i know i had some merch before but i don't know Let's see who I get. It's been a while since I've watched it, so I may not remember all the characters' names, but I'll try. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize it was just like a screen cap from like the <laughs> anime. I thought they'd be little chibis or something. That's pretty cool. Definitely worth it for 100 yen. I don't know how much it was originally, but... Oh, it's originally 400 yen. So, I got this pretty cheap. Finally, we have Kunuts. And last time I got Donald on my very first try, which was amazing. So, today, I mean, it would be nice to have Daisy, Donald and Daisy together. Or, you know, the, I'm assuming that's the secret one, the secret Mickey. Let's take a look. Clarice. I'm gonna set this down and she will not fall over. <laughs> Some of you were saying that it's like a wibble wobble, weeble wobble. I don't know what those are, but it seems like this is very wibbly, weebly, and wobbly. <laughs> so let's have a quick recap. I have Clarice, Jafar. Oh, look, I bet Clarice can stand on here. Actually, that's the perfect size. We have Jafar, cute bunny, Udiel, cam badge, as we call them here, pin, and my two pretty pata cards. Hey guys, it's been a while since I have filmed a Magical Blind Box video, and as you can see, the Magical Blind Box is 
almost overflowing. I have added a lot of things into here. Some of you guys have sent me some fun blind bags and I am really excited to check them out. There are a few that I want to open right away like this Pokemon Sweets blind box that I got at the Pokemon Center. I think this one was actually a little bit more expensive. I think it was like $8 or something. I don't know, but I'm excited to open it. And how about one of these Pick Me Pops? Moose Toys sent me a package and I received some Pick Me Pops and these are Pick Me Pop Surprise Push Me Ups. I've never seen these before, so I'm excited to open that. That's two. Let's do five or six today. Let's see what we have in here. How about, these are Pokemon Center gachas and they're kind of see-through, but I'm gonna grab one of those. Oh, there's an Aikatsu gummy blind bag in here. Let's grab that out since Aikatsu is now over. That's four. What about this Disney Store Easter blind box? Because Easter is kind of over. Except in Japan at Tokyo Disney, they celebrate Easter through June. So it's a little weird, but you know. All right, then here are our blind boxes and blind bags for today. Let's save the Pokemon one till the end because this is kind of a fancy one. I'm really excited to open it. Oh, I totally did not realize these were Uhufi. And gotcha. Hmm, let's start with the Aikatsu one. This is from Aikatsu Stars. It is stage four. It looks like they're all exclusive and I have opened a few of these in my Magical Blind Box videos, so I may be getting a full outfit. I don't really remember, but let's take a look. Here is the card, let me see what it's called. These are called the Cotton Syrup Shoes and they're from Fua Fua Dream. On the back here we have some eyes. I really don't know if these are going to be usable with the renewed arcade game. I know the machine's going to be the same, but I think it's going to be a whole new kind of gameplay system. So I will probably check it out. You guys have been requesting some Puripada stuff and I am interested in the new stuff coming out. I got some Puripada, so let me know if you'd like to see that. Here are the gummies. They're really cute. I've always wanted to use the molds to make, I don't know, colorful chocolates or resin pieces or something. Maybe someday. And these are great flavor. They smell really good. Moving on, let's check out this Pick Me Pops. I wanna say a big, big thank you to Moose Toys for sending this to me. I'm really excited. I really hope more and more toys from Moose Toys come to Japan. We have Shopkins, but I think we're still like on the second or third wave. So. Whoa. Okay, I do not expect that. There's confetti inside the pop. Oh, and you're supposed to push it up. I think I just destroyed it though when I was, I was just trying to unwrap it. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna put this back in here. And here, let's put some confetti back in. I don't think I'm doing this right, but that's okay. Okay, let's try again. Whoosh, oh. <laughs> I don't think I did that right, but that is a cool container. The confetti was unexpected, though it does say with confetti fun here. That was crazy. Okay, let's open this up. I think it is the same as the other Pick Me Pops that I have gotten previously. Little beanbag fuzzies and, mmm, smells like vanilla. Kind of a sweet smell. It's probably not vanilla. I usually get these wrong. Oh, it's kind of like a symptom. It's definitely a bunny, I want to say, that with long ears and super colorful. Comes with a little strap so you can put it on your purse or hang it up if you want. Let's see who this is. There's a little note here. It says, I see the bunny. You're so popsicle. I will accept that. Marshmallow Ripple. Is that the scent? Single pack push me ups. I see the bunny is a common and the scent is Marshmallow Ripple. There's also a Marshmallow Treat. There's also a Malo Mix. These are all adorable. Oh, and then there's Rares and Ultra Rares. Let me know in the comments down below if you have ever gotten a Rare or an Ultra Rare. I do have another one of these to open, so maybe we'll get a Rare. Now it's time to clean up all this confetti. <laughs> Why don't we check out this Gacha from the Pokemon Center? I got this last month. And it is from the Didomon series. I don't think it's actually called the Didomon series. I just call it that. And I got Magikarp. Can you guys see? There is the little Magikarp or Quaking. 
What's it called? Magikarp here with the little ditto face and then the little ditto Magikarp. These are so cute. My friend has the full set of these and I'm so jealous. I just get random ones because you guys know I'm more of a Disney girl than a Pokemon girl, but these are just too adorable, so I have a few random ones. Apparently this is volume five. I didn't realize we were already on series five. Look at Lapras, so cute. So I think I have a few more of these in my magical blind box, so hopefully we'll be getting some different ones. Two more blind boxes to go. I'm gonna go ahead and open the Oofy one. This was 700 yen, so I think it was a little bit pricey. I really don't remember what it is. I'm gonna pull this little pull tab here. Obviously it's something for Easter. Oh, that doesn't want to open. Work with me here. There we go. Oh, look, there's Donald. It's actually a lot larger than what I expected. I thought it was gonna be a little figure, and now I'm not sure what it is. It feels a little squishy. Da -dum. Oh, whoa, I was not expecting this. It looks like it's a little Easter egg. There's a little chick. There it is, Daisy. It's kind of like a screen cleaner, but not really, maybe? I don't know. That's cute, though. Okay, so still maybe not worth 700 yen to me, but it's better than the little straps for 700 yen, if you know what I mean. So I got Daisy, which is, you know, second best after Donald, and it's really cute. It's really, really dense. Like, they put a lot of cotton in that. It's kind of funny. Finally, we have this Pokemon blind box, and let's see, can you guys see the lineup? There's one side, and then it'll turn it. This is the cutest. There is the other side. There's Snorlax, so cute. So, let me take a peek. Any of these are gonna be cute. I just like sweets and miniatures in general, so let's do this. Is this gonna be in a blind bag? Not really, it's just sitting there. What one is this? Pancakes? Shigibana, which is um, not Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is like the starter. It's the last one. Why can't I think of its name? You know, Bulbasaur with a flower. This is amazing. It's a little bit larger than a Riemann. I would say there's a little Pokemon there. And then the pancake on top looks like a flower and there's some syrup and butter. This is so cute. If you've been to the Pokemon Center and got any of these blind boxes, send me a photo on Twitter or Instagram, or you know, on my Facebook, and I would love to see what you got. So, today I got Fushigibana. Why can't I think of the English name? I swear I know it, but I guess I don't. Daisy, my little pick-me-pop, my little Magikarp, and Ditto Carp and my iKids card. So, that was a pretty good selection for today, I would say. Super colorful, look at that. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below which item you like the best today. I'm gonna have to say that I really like my little ditto carps. They are the cutest. Though, I really love my pancakes, too. Maybe I am more of a Pokemon girl than I thought. How about you? Are you more Team Pokemon or Team Disney? I'm gonna leave a poll up above. Let me know your answer, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!